Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, guys, this video is about how quickly us men jump into relationships versus women. Well, guys, according to the Pew Institute of Research, they say that 80% of men will say, I love you before a woman does. You're probably looking at me going, Patrick, I've never said I love you. I don't say it till at least the fifth date. Well, <laughs> reality is this is true. And you know what? I'm one of those guys. I'm one of those guys that will fall in love so much quicker than she will. Or at least I'll be interested in expressing myself before she will. Now, guys, this last weekend, I was over at my son's house. And he has a swimming pool. And something I noticed, which is really interesting. Now, let me show you how the swimming pool relates to women and men when it comes to romance. I'm the type of guy, I'm hot. It's a hot day. I'm stripping off my shirt, taking my shoes off, and I got my swimsuit on. I'm ready to dive in, and there I go. I dive right in. Oh, the water feels fantastic. It's cooling me off. I'm swimming around, enjoying this, get handed a cocktail or a beer. Oh, this is perfect. Then I watch my wife. And I watch my daughter-in-law and they come over and they stick their toe in. They might even stand in the shallow end about three inches deep <laughs> and they're splashing around. Eventually they might sit on that shallow end step and, you know, play around, get some water on their legs, maybe and put it up on their shoulders. And then eventually they get in and they start swimming around very gingerly and slowly. Well, guys, this is exactly how it works in romantic relationships between men and women. The guys are typically diving in, and the women are sitting back going, oh, well, yeah, it is getting warm out. Hmm, what are that water feels? So the relationship being the water, they're just in there, and they're just testing things out. And that's how it is, usually in those first few months. Now, guys, I'm going to give you an example of this. This is an example that was very, and ended up very painful for me, and in fact, for her as well. I get introduced to a woman. She's beautiful. She's very athletic. She's very outgoing. She's a businesswoman. We got along like, like thieves. We went on a couple of vacations together. Everything was fantastic. We had so many things in common. We, we spent a lot of time together for those first four months. And then she told me she has to get back to work. I thought, well, that's odd. Haven't you been working this whole time? In fact, she had been, sometimes even late into the night, which was fine. And I said, what do you mean? And so she started spending more and more time with her family, with some other friends, with work projects, and things just didn't seem right. And so guess what I did, which was probably the wrong thing, is I kept pushing her. When are we going to see each other? Are you coming over tonight? I'd like to have dinner with you. No, I'm busy. No, I'm busy. No, I'm busy. And guys, what happened? This, this ended tragically in the sense that it became one of those relationships where because I had so many romantic feelings for her and I am a very strong willed person that I was scaring her to death. I was pushing her underwater in that romantic relationship and she knew it and she started running away from that relationship. I even confronted her on the phone one night at two o'clock in the morning going, why don't you come over? She was crying. I'm just scared. I'm scared. I'm scared of falling in love again. I'm scared of being hurt. Well, for the next five months, we broke off the relationship about five times, about once a month. And then we'd get back together. And guys, if you ever get in that situation, I got to tell you, it's heartbreaking. Till eventually we finally split up entirely. So here's my point, gentlemen, is that when you dive into a relationship, oftentimes you're going to get what you want. You don't know what that water feels like just yet. You can imagine it, but you don't know what it feels like. So the next time you meet a woman and things are going well, take your time, stick your toe in the water, maybe sit in the shallow end for a few months. Just see how things feel, see how things play out. Allow it to happen instead of making the mistake I did by pushing the relationship right off the edge of the cliff. Guys, thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe video. There's fantastic videos there in my YouTube channel that will help you Find the woman of your dreams and that time keep her. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in the next video.